Hello, welcome to the Mark Janod Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about how scammers, or hackers rather, use Cash App to make a profit. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So before I get into that, let me just give a brief overview. What is Cash App? Cash App is a peer-to-peer -peer mobile payment app for people in the US and UK that lets you send money to other Cash App accounts. You can also invest in stocks through Cash App, trade Bitcoin, <laughs> that Bitcoin, right? <laughs> Hacker community, hacker community knows Bitcoin or pay for goods and services at participating retailers. Cash App is similar to Venmo, Zelle and other P2P payment apps. Such apps are sometimes called money apps or cash transfer app because it can be a hassle to pay someone back. Apps like Cash App were created to let people send money quickly and conveniently. Over time, Cash App's popularity has grown and, and expanded to other services. Now, how does Cash App work? It's important to know this. To send money through Cash App, enter the amount you want to transfer, find and select the user, then tap pay. The money appears in the receiver's Cash App balance, which, then, which they can then transfer to their bank account or leave in Cash App. You can also request money from someone using the same process, tapping receive instead of pay. Now you're going to want to download Cash App through Google Play or Apple Store just like any other cash transfer app, then make a unique tag called a cash tag and link your cash app account to your bank account please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button so using your cash tag you can request or pay money without sharing bank account details sending and receiving money is free just like standard deposits to your bank account and takes one to three business days to arrive so that was your brief overview on let's talk about how hackers profit or scammers hackers it's interchangeable how they profit through cash app so let's talk about accidental transfers a common trick cash app scammers use in sending accidental transfers from stolen credit cards or hacked accounts to their victims the victim is then asked to send the money back <laughs> you can see that the, the the victim is then asked to send the money back to the scammers fake cash app account the accidental transfer is then also soon reversed by the other scammed victims bank and the scammer disappears with your money isn't that something isn't that something it's called the accidental transfer now let's talk about the next one we have cash flipping so cash flipping scams also known as money circle scams are a cybercrime version of real world pyramid schemes the scheme may promise to double or quadruple <laughs> promises right your money by investing it in the stock market through a friend or professional contact but just like pyramid schemes they're designed to scam people out of their money cash app users can be targeted directly on cash app on a social media platform or by sms so it's important to understand the arenas where hackers or scammers use, right? So scammers also post details of these cash making schemes on social media, right? And wait for interested people to take the bait. They then ask them to send money through Cash App. Now, here is the big one right here. We have phishing, vishing, and smishing, right? These are highly, highly used if used right, very effective ways of carrying out these kinds. So let's get into it. Phishing is how scammers get you to give up your details or click dangerous links in a fake email while vishing works through voice calls and smishing, right? You, you know, use is used to SMS. There are also platform specific scams such as Apple ID and phishing scams. These cash app scams involve scammers impersonating authority figures, businesses colleagues and the like the aim is to trick you into handling over sensitive information such as your login details or opening links that trick you into doing the same scammers are often after money in the end but they may also try to scam people you know by pretending to be you you can help prevent phishing attacks by knowing how to identify fake texts and keeping your personal information to yourself please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button i appreciate your viewership i appreciate your support see you on the next video.